Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about when your life gets interrupted. This happens to all of us at different times throughout our lives and it can be in a myriad of different ways. And it's usually something we weren't expecting and a lot of times it's something that we don't want or we don't think we want. But I want to encourage you to look at these interruptions as opportunities for positive change because sometimes these things happen and lead us in another direction that we never could have imagined on our own. And usually if you have that good attitude, it'll lead you to something bigger and better. But if you encounter something that you don't want, you don't like, and you're pushing against and resisting, then it isn't going to be a positive experience for you. And I want you to always have a positive experience that feels good. So I thought I would share a little bit of how some of this has evolved in my life and how it's led me to places that I wound up being very happy with. Um, so let me go back to when my father was dying in 2003. He asked me to move in with my mother, as I've shared before in these videos, and, and take care of her. And I had to really give this some consideration because I lived on my own. I loved having my own place. I entertained a lot. I liked my solitude. And um, so it wasn't just a snap decision like, okay, uh, I, I had to think about what's my life going to be like, how is this going to affect me? But the interesting thing is, is that during that time, <clears throat> I wanted to move. I'd been in an apartment for a really long time and I had been happy there, but I really wanted some place on the ground without people on the other side of all of my walls or underneath me anymore. So I had been visualizing, affirming and feeling, probably finding a guest house, but I was just focused on I want a house with no one on the other side of my walls and I would like a yard on the ground with a yard and that's really all I was focused on and after giving my father's request some thought I realized oh if I move back here I will be in a house on the ground with a huge yard and I can do pretty much what I want with it so I know there were some restrictions, it wasn't ideal, it wasn't a new place that I could just move into and decorate the way I wanted to, but it was familiar, it's the house I grew up in, and um, you know, first it was a little challenging because my mom and I were both dealing with each other all day, every day, and the fact that we had just lost my father, I'd lost my father, she lost her husband, so it was it was a little difficult, but ultimately it, it worked out pretty well, and because I try to look at the positives in the situation that I have a home to live in. I have a house. I love my neighborhood. I love my neighbors. I love my yard. So it was better than I thought it was going to be. And it's evolved throughout the years to be something better and better over time. And same thing when I got laid off from my job at Capital. You know, a lot of people are going to look at a layoff as a negative and, oh my God, what am I going to do? And around that time, I was about to graduate with my holistic health practitioner certification. So the timing was perfect. I was able to finish up my last month of school and graduate and focus completely on that. I was ready to start a new career. And then the unexpected interruption in that aspect was that as I was getting ready to start this career, my mom needed more care and more of my time. So I wasn't really able to grow my business the way I wanted to at the time I thought I was going to do it. But that has turned out to be a really good thing too because unfortunately I spent about six years trying to do both and trying to make both happen and give both 100% and it just wasn't happening. So last year when my, my book, The Enlightened Caregiver came out, I decided, you know what, I need to focus on mom 100%. This is where my attention and my efforts need to be because this is her life. I'll build my business later. You know, I've got things in place. I've, I've laid a foundation. I'm still able to do things like these videos for you every week, which I love. So I do what I'm able to do, keep a couple of clients there. But the rest of the time, I'm focused on her and focused on taking care of myself. And it's been an amazing time of connection for both of us because I know she feels the difference because I'm more present with her and I'm not feeling as distracted or put out because a lot of times I would feel like, oh, I want to be doing this and I should be doing this, but I have to focus on this. I have to take care of this for you. And it just, I didn't have 
a very positive vibe about it most of the time. And so this way I'm able to have a more positive vibe more of the time about her, about me, about my life, about my business. You know, I, I sit and I imagine, I get into the vibe of what I want for my business later and the ideas are still always coming. So as I said, I'm creating the foundation and it just, it feels good. So that interruption became something that I focused on completely. And, but you know, as I said in the beginning, I was like, oh, I feel so put out. So I'm sure you can relate because we all go through those times where something comes up and we're like, ah, oh, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I signed up for. What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? But you can do something with it. You can do something positive with it, whatever the, the, the it is, because you know, we lose jobs, we move, relationships end, new relationships start. Um, you know, we have changes in our health, changes in our environment. So there's always something positive that can come out of any interruption that life throws your way. And sometimes those interruptions will lead you down a path that is better, that feels better than where you were originally headed. So look at it that way. Just kind of be open and relax about it a little bit and see where it leads you. Make the best of it. Have positive expectations about it. And it'll be much better for you. I guarantee you. Even if it's something that you hate, you absolutely don't want, find that little little bit of positive in it find something small that you like that can work for you and just focus on that and that little thing that makes you feel good and try and feel better and better and better about it and see how it grows and see how it changes and see how it moves you forward in a different direction that could be where you're supposed to be like maybe you're going off here and life is like no you're supposed to be over here <laughs> so that's my message for you today and I hope that these videos help you stay in a positive vibe. I hope they're a positive interruption to every Friday, although you know they're coming, so I guess it's not really an interruption. <laughs> but as always, I so appreciate you watching and being here with me and spending this time with me. As I said, this is one of the few ways that I am able to still do what I love and connect with you on a regular basis. So thank you, thank you for being here with me. And if you need a little bit more connection, if perhaps you are in the same role I am, maybe you're a caregiver or some know someone who is, come on over to the Enlightened Caregiver community in the G Plus community. Um, Penny Petty, my dear friend and I, we were both caregivers for our mothers. Uh, we created this. We're here to help you, to support you, to listen to you. If you just need to vent, sometimes you just need an ear to of someone who understands. So come on over there. We, we get it. We understand you. We support you. We're here for you. And Penny and I do a lot of sharing and venting on there too. So maybe you can relate to stuff we're going through. So we're here for you if you need this kind of support, so come and join us. It's open to anyone. And also, if you enjoy these videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And if you feel so inspired, share with your family and friends. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump on over to my website, tannomarshall.com, and get on the mailing list. And there's a free gift there for you, too. So with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend. Enjoy it. And if any unexpected interruptions come up, just take a step back and go, hmm, okay, where could this lead me? And expect something positive, and that is what you'll get. Otherwise, I hope you just have a relaxing, great weekend. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.